theme on my sword, right? And there's no lock on my sword, and it, and it's, it's um. Have do you have you enchanted anything before? Okay, so you have to right click on the weapon and then choose enchants, and then the enchants that are available will show up in a list. It's a little backward. It's reverse of what you would think it would be. Okay, it's enchanted. Yay. That's Yay. how charging a weapon works as well. You right click on the weapon, choose charge, and then you select the stone that you're going to eat to refill it. Honestly, the reason why I like most of the Elder Scrolls elves ah, is because, and I, now that the folk, as I, I said before, I, I don't know. It's like there are other kinds of elves than just elves. Yeah, I mean, I mean there are I, lots of different kinds of elves in this world. They're just a, a a race that got diluted as they merged out from the uh, the the root race. And I feel like I, probably I it's somewhere down like the line. The I, I, I don't know if this is the case, but I've always suspected that like Argonians and Khajiit are off the same basic route as well. I, I think the reason I always liked the orcs in ESO or in Elder Scrolls in general was the entire like uh, Bushido type thing with them and stuff compared to like you know everybody else like you know it's like I I love Nords don't get me wrong you know but it's like. Everybody else is all like, ah, we do this, blah, 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 and it's like, and they always kind of, uh, fake the funk with honor and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, the orcs don't. I forgot who, I think it was Ashgar who I was talking to, it's like, you know. The one thing that would probably be like doom for like freaking the Ultimer and and like you know Imperials and stuff like that would be if the Orsmer and Nords looked at each other and were like, hey, you guys are actually cool, and because <laughs> like it, it's over. Can't I unbind the sacrifices? Okay, that one may just be bugged out. Cases! dungeons with spiders in them. 
Why'd it have to be snakes? Well, just, there's so many freaking spiders and they, they take a long time to chew through. You have to watch out because they will heal themselves off of their yes, friends. Yes, and that's the problem. I have to always make sure I have what enough... What the shit is that? I have to make sure I have enough uh, stamina to always interrupt their heal. Damn it, I think I missed the anchor. Uh-oh. Yeah, so they make similar sounds when they're spawning and going away, and I have trouble telling the difference between the two. Nah, it disappeared. So I definitely missed it. I also think that spiders would be more damaged by fire than they actually are. Dungeon has almost near instant respawn on these spiders. Bleh. Whoa, that's a huge moon. Is that you? That's oh, no Luka. moon. Help me. It can't be. It's true. It's a space station. Yes, I kind of set you up for that, didn't I? Totally. Cool though. I need to make a tiny, uh, tiny fountain. Get out of marble. Stranger. Polished marble. The woman you are escorting. Oh yeah. She is not my sister. The That's a whole lot of pudding. Has taken control of her. Yes, I'm sorry. Forgive me. When my sister heard that I'd been taken by a Daedra, she came to rescue me. I was possessed for, I don't know, hours. It's all so foggy, muddled. She drew the creature out of me. Yes, yes, Wayfarer. Just so. Don't let it win. I guess no one ever remembers the state anymore. Adina's the one possessed. The Daedra is trying to trick you. Don't believe its lies. No, you must believe me. You can't let it finish the ritual. You can't. So long as that thing lives, so does the ritual. You have to kill it to end this. Please, listen to me. If the ritual completes, who knows how many innocent lives may be lost? Oh. What an unfortunate miscalculation. Five 
Listen to me, Wayfarer. Please. That because what I'm saying, if there was, I would have. What's that in your hand? The ritual is complete, and my first act will be to reclaim my body and destroy you. Have I not earned your trust? I've had countless opportunities to attack you, to slay you. Look into your heart. Have you been wrong? Oh, what an unfortunate miscalculation. Five innocent deaths on your head in as many minutes. I do hope you remember to say your prayers tonight. Spriggans don't like flaming weapons. Complete. And my first act will be to reclaim my body and destroy you. Ah, bravo. Your powers of perception are strong indeed. Can you blame me? Twins share the same. <laughs> How vexing. Pity I didn't think of it sooner. It might have saved us all a great deal of talking. Oh, yes! Come meet your sweet device, mortal. Lie still, my sweet. It will all be over soon. Another thread cut, yet the loom spins on. And now you think yourself free of the web. <laughs> what a delightful fiction. Oh, yes. Come closer. Mmm, how strong you look with my minion's blood on your hands. Hmm. I would have thought someone as mighty and well-traveled as you might already know. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whispers. A fair question. I don't often come to greet those who would slay my servants. But you, oh, there's something different about you. Trying to do? Oh, no. <laughs> you strong, beautiful fool. Do you think she failed? A marriage ruined, a sister slain, souls lost, families broken. And to think, all of this began with a wayward goat. <laughs> what a gorgeous and horrifying tapestry. What a predictably mortal question. Small, great, the same. Each thread tugs the other. Petty jealousy, an unintended slight, dog-like lusts. These are the things that bring empires to ruin. I tell you what, doing all this stuff in pixels, re in like voxels, and working with blurring and uh, smoothing lines reminds me of a lot of the uh, pi uh, pixel work I used to do with sprites and, and dress-up dolls and stuff. Yeah. What kind of voice? Curse that monster. This is all her fault. Hers and Najon. It's like, how did she just enough to make it look like you want, but in the small amount of space that you have? What I do will strike. Yes, but the cost was far too high, but it wasn't enough.
Zara? Praised Rupka, it is good to see you safe. Where is Edina? Najan, you cowardly snake. She's dead. Slain by that monster you lusted after. No, no, that cannot be true. You were supposed to save her. And what about you? Could you not have saved her? No. You were busy out here cowering behind rocks like a dog. After all she did for you. All she sacrificed, you cast her into oblivion for a fool's pleasure. You disgust me. Isara, I... I didn't know if... My sister deserved better than you, a better life than you. If I ever see you again, there aren't words for what I'll do to you. Adina, by the eight, what have I done? I never meant for this to happen. Izara was right. I failed her. She was beautiful and kind-hearted. Leave. Maybe I'll walk into the desert and put an end to it. I deserve worse. I should go to Adina's family first. I hope that she is. Perhaps killing me will... I could not figure out how to not pay this guy, so I guess I pay him. Ha 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 The lizard races. I went down to the other area that you could get one, and nope, would not let me pay. Would, could not find anything. Sometimes there is only one answer to the, uh, quest. That's the only thing I find frustrating at times. Is sometimes you know the answer is going to be the wrong answer, but you don't have any choice other than to choose the answer. How do you research traits in Blacksmith? Okay, so you have to have an item that has that trait on it, and then you go into the research tab, and it'll show what? up, and you break it down. How could I be such a... Oh to learn that trait, and it'll take six hours for the first one, 12 hours for the second one, 18 hours for the third one, so on and so on. Only what we learn. I am. You are... Okay. Now, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because I actually paid for one of these lizards and still lost. Really? Yes. So, go back to the chick, the initial chick, and she, like, I want to say she gives you something that's going to make you win. Sorry, no, no. you kind of, my computer freaked out. Start with the initial chick and... Go back to the initial chick, and I want to say she gives you, like, a special food or something that is going to let you win. Split out! Split out! 
you know, this is just going to end up being a quest that makes me spend a ton of money and I'm going to be very annoyed at the end. Sure. What are you sitting at money-wise anyway? Ah, uh, I've got tons. Heck, I've already bought my big mount. I s need to do that still. I'm not even anywhere close. But even after buying the big mount, I'm already back up to like 9,000. Which big mount did you buy? The fast one. Failed to win the race. I guess I can go buy one and then buy a snack. Very annoying process. Very tempted to say this stupid quest go F itself. Yeah, there's definitely a whole lot of I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this quest. That seems like a thing I can do with quests, right? It won't ca cause my OCD to trigger at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm going so much slower than everyone else that I run into because they're like the appropriate level for the area and I am way the hell over level. And you feel like you're going slower than them? Well, I mean like getting through the content slower than they are. that makes sense. Sure. Like, I should be burning through the content faster than I am. This is not a bad problem to have, mind you. I picked up uh, both Intimidating Presence and First Race of Will. Um, you do that. You'll want them. Okay. So basically, Intimidate is always an asshole option. You'll never be given both at the same time in a conversation. Actually, yeah, you do. Really? Mm -hmm. I, I've yeah, never I had so. one where it was both Intimidate and Persuade. But Intimidate will almost always be this asshole option of, you know, do it or I kill you, essentially. Or do it. And Persuade is like usually a more amiable solution like, no, you should totally do this because I'm awesome. <laughs> like every time I use Intimidate, I feel like an asshole for doing it. But it gets the job done. It does. And keeps me from having to spend any money. Or morality points like there isn't. Uh, no, there's not. Uh, or Mass Effect, so. No real penalty. Okay. Dragon 
special for dragon wars well it's the most awesome <laughs> standard's pretty good i don't know i use mag armor mostly for survivability these days but i do have dragon leap and that's what i usually use I can understand magma armor if I'm a tank or something, but yeah. I'm not a tank, I'm just the, you know, the big plate-wearing, two-hander building dude, so. If you want DPS increase, then standard is where you want to be. It's a significant DPS increase. Did you uh. see those witches back there? Me? No. Yes, this is the right book. Just saw the witches using it a few minutes ago. You seem very confused. Yes, this is the right book. If only I could turn back time. Just a few hours. Hey, Ash. Hello. Hi, Ash. Hello. Brian got the service now out of his system. Do you That's have good. time to hear about no. the wonder of his... Let me rephrase that. Are you going to employ me? Am I going to what? Employ me? <laughs> uh, service now is a pretty good way to get employed, actually. If you if you learn service now, there are companies implementing service now. I'm trying to think where you are looking at if there are any big companies that I can think of. Well, GE is pretty close to you, isn't it? I'm G trying to not be here, but G yes, GE oh. is very close to me. GE is probably the biggest service now customer. You ever see Lummy or Lummix or what's his other characters? Uh, he's a GE, but he's at uh, at Schenectady. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of my thought too. Yeah, well, he lives in Troy, but he works at the. I think he actually mostly remotes. Don't blame him. <laughs> Schenectady was a shithole. I mean, I won't lie. It was it was an absolute shithole. Well, uh... My, that's where our hotel room... Our hotel was, was in Schenectady. I did kinda warn you that it was middle oh. of nowhere New York. Well, no, like, I mean, I'm not concerned about middle of nowhere. I'm concerned by the fact Maybe. that it was, you know, a slum. <laughs> like, it was... I don't know. So well, Ash, it's best not to go anywhere between New anywhere between Buffalo and New York City. Yes, that includes the capital. It's 
So, so, uh, so yeah, it's connected. It reminded me a lot of the Ninth Ward from New Orleans. Uh, did you uh, catch up to me? What level are you? Were you? Thirty-six, middle of no. Uh, no. Oh. Try thirty-three. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yay, smithing thirty-one. God, this is gonna be so slow to level after a point. I did pick two professions that were really quick to level. Like I'm only that putting time to do all the rest. I'm only putting points in one profession. Now, at least. I am putting points into two professions. It doesn't make... Although, truth be told, I'm almost done with points in smithing, so... Where'd the little dude go? The vendor. He's hiding amongst all the people. There he is. You don't look much like a smith. Too clean, says I. If you want to get your hands dirty, have a look at my materials. They may cost a bit more than most, but quality like this don't come cheap. Man, are there any fighters in the Fighters Guild? Very few. Look. You're in the Elder Scrolls universe. Fighter means a different thing. Though honestly, like, uh, uh... What's his name was a fighter? I can't think of his name. The, the paladin-y kind of guy that's a red guard. Yeah. Merrick? Merrick, Merrick. yeah. Merrick is totally a fighter. Aleph is... yeah. Aleph is a rogue. Is not that. <laughs> Aleph is a rogue, and... Uh... Sees many colors is a wizard. <laughs> Aleph is also kind of a wizard. Everyone is a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. You're a hairy lizard? That's like the best thing ever, that, that screenshot where it, there, there was the person named You're a Lizard Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an Argonian, of course. So I've started crafting in Evermore, Ash. In what now? Evermore. The town of Evermore in Bankarai. Ah, okay. Because it's significantly less busy and it's only slightly less inconvenient or less convenient. But Shornhelm is just so well great. It, but here's the thing: is like, okay, so here the the smithy and the woodworking table are actually closer. But the bank is just a little bit further away. Ah. And I can accept that. Like, I mean, it's it's still close to each other. I mean, My favorite part about Shorenhelm is the proximity of the smithing table and the woodworking table to the bank. Well, it's not that far away. Like, I mean, it's, it's down a back alley and then you're at the bank. <laughs> Down a back alley and two kidneys later. Well, you know, I mean, if you linger. You'll lose a finger? I'm wearing plate. It would be hard to extract a kidney. Just saying. Challenge accepted? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm pretty sure there's magic for that. <laughs> I don't think someone made a kidney removing spell. Like, that doesn't seem like a thing somebody would actually make. Yeah. Unless I feel like you're if there's a market for it, somebody would develop it. Ha have you met the Bozmer? Also that. Or the Khajiit. I mean, come on. The Khajiit would totally sell someone's kidney. Only if they could get a good price for it. I think the Khajiit would sell anything if they could get a good price for it. Or they just get some this... moon sugar for it. I feel like this is not necessarily true. Oh? 
Aleph is surprisingly anti capitalism with the guild. <laughs> Greetings. At least with the current guild's business plan. I guess I hit the level where I can do the next set of those quests now. Look, Aleph is damaged. <laughs> yeah! Who's Aleph? You'll run into her. It's part of the the Fighters Guild That's chain. You never run into her already if you started the Fighters Guild quests. Yeah, that first quest is involving her. The first step of the first quest is involving her. Quest is called Anchors from the Harbor. By Zenithar, it's good to see someone with a head. Only bad thing about Evermore is the banker uses the I same voice as the chick from Daggerfall. <laughs> and though she's not saying the statement, I'm having flashbacks to the statement. By Zenithar, it's good to see someone with a heavy purse again. Does she at least have two statements? No, no, no. I don't think so. Oh well. It's a better and shorter... That, that Davin's Watch Banker will remain my favorite so far. Davin's Watch? Oh, yeah. I really like the banker who lets me sell stuff to her. Who? And Alec here. here. Ah. Speaking of Alec here, have you completed, uh... I just Riven got Spire? there. Okay. Yeah, I got... I got nah. Just completed Driven Spire as much as I'm going to, and started Alec here. Cleaned out the Sky Shards and the... The big quest that give it skill points. Why won't Hex ever get fixed? Tournament's still down? Yes. Why is Steam offline? And I've been having so much trouble connecting to Steam, period. I feel like there is a website for that. I'm it's what, is Steam down? Is steamdown.com? by a hack raven out in Jackdaw Cove. That would make sense. After all, I did see a whole mess of them tear a man to pieces right in front of me. Oh, not this again. Yes, steam is down. You don't look much like a smith. Too clean, says I. If you want to get your hands dirty... Basically, I was going to check to see if you had uh, taken Denmaku Unlimited out of my inventory yet. Ten what? If you'd taken Denmaku Unlimited out of my inventory yet. You totally should, because it was fun. And I didn't on playing it again, I just haven't yet. Oh. No, I have not. I feel like you'll like this madness. Okay. I was actually really enjoying uh, a little of Blaze Blue I played the other day. That was the first game, right? Yeah, Calamity Trigger. I need to play, uh, since I have been holding off, I should get Shadowrun Unlimited, or Shadowrun whatever. It returns weekend. before it stops being on sale. Isn't it this weekend? Yes. Yeah. I need to get the uh, DLC while it's on sale. It's not as much on sale, but it is still on sale. On sale is on sale. <laughs> How 
How much is it? Five it's ten bucks. Good Normally it's fifteen. For the DLC? Yeah. And how much for the game? How can I help you? Currently five bucks. So fifteen bucks for the whole shabam. Fifteen bucks for essentially two RPGs. Yes. Heavy purse again. We haven't had a deposit in days. How can I help you? Sounds good to me. When they say DLC, it's like old school expansion type. Here's another campaign. Nice. Completely unrelated to the first one, under the on the same engine. I'm fine with this notion. Seems to have died since you know Neverwinter Nights days. I loved that about Neverwinter Nights. It's like, okay, I'm going to take my characters and go do something completely different. Hello there. Unfortunately, Shadowrun makes you roll a new character each time. Uh, that's unfortunate. Although, that if you don't do that, you kind of get overpowered by the time you do your <laughs> second campaign. Because Neverwinter always made it so that you could start fresh in the new campaign, Greetings. which meant if you brought an existing character... It was grossly overpowered, at yeah. least for the first little bit. There are some user-made campaigns that were like that. Like here, you were bounced it for a new character, but you can bring your old character in if you really want to. But that character would be ludicrously overpowered. I swear, some of my funnest times were building <clears throat> for the original Neverwinter. Well, not the original, original Neverwinter, but, you know, the first Neverwinter Nights. So, why is the house outward symbol look like the Detroit Lion? Because that's the... It's the Daggerfall, Daggerfall symbol. Daggerfall symbol. Oh, okay. You can't do guild taverns and stuff yet? No. no. Yet. That's one of the things I think they've talked about with the guild revamp, but... For now, no, it's all... Faction. What do you mean, guild revamp? I don't, I don't... There's supposedly There's a big a patch lot of coming guild. up. Okay. Lots of guild systems that need to be looked at. <laughs> I mean, they limp by as is, but. I'm looking at you, guild bank. Well, so one <laughs> of the things that I read, I, I'm curious about what they meant, because it almost sounded like there was going to be a way to shop from the most popular guild stores, period, without being a member of the guild. Well, okay. there is. Right now they... you can shop from Keeps. any claimed guild's keep. It's not actually from the keep, though. It's from the banker in your outpost. So people are getting confused about that. Well, but there was, there was some kind of note about somehow related to the the most popular guild stores would be open to everyone but I don't know I'll have to, I'll have to dig it up but it made me sound like maybe they're trying to implement a way to turn the guild stores into more of a auction house the grotto belongs to the you'd still have to like shop individual guild stores but you wouldn't have to necessarily be a member of the guild I would like yeah, the concept of guild stores think... a lot more if the cap wasn't 500 people. Yeah, yeah. So if you could really have true trade guilds that were virtually unlimited. Because I feel like the the penalty of selling on a store and COD is already insanely great. Yeah, that's way higher than I think I'd like it to be. I mean, most business is done in person because, well, it's crazy expensive. Otherwise. But I feel like what's going to happen is we're going to end up with the EQ style trade zone. like, And right now that's ending up to be Shorenhelm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, that's, that's where people are doing it on our side, is all Shorenhelm. And I'm okay with that, but, like, they should totally give us a... It doesn't make zone change in Rip Rivenspire completely unusable. Oh, totally. I was trying to recruit people for Obsidian Scar, and it was rough, bad times. Okay, so 
apparently it was up there. I'm trying to find how to get to where this boss is. There it is. Nomag Hero. A giant frost atronach. Gazetite. There we go. Holy shit. I died quickly. I just got straight up wrecked. Whatever the hell he did was just like brutal. <laughs> Shit, it's that it's that ice crap on the ground that I just can't get out of. Yeah. He blanketed me in it, and like Ooh. nowhere I could go, I could dodge out of it. Of course. And oh wow, that killed you real fast. Oh yeah, just uh, just straight up shredded me. Yeah. Although it was worth it. Cold bite. 102 damage, 41, 28 frost damage, uh, with precise on it. That is a significantly better weapon than I had for my two-hander set. At least I think it is. Might not be. Uh, no, it's not. Sadly. <laughs> that sucks. I have Centurion Breaker, which is 104, reduces target armor by 262 for 5 seconds, and weighted. I like weighted for two-handed weapons. But it marked another skull off my map. The Summoner's Camp one is bugged. I've killed both of the fangs, the summoner and the critter it summons, multiple times, and I've never gotten credit for it. See what's at the eyeball. You should poke it. Fast pony. Apparently doesn't run in water. Or at least I got too deep of water and got dismounted. Alright, I actually think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm quite tired at this point for some reason. You do that. Right, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Naga. Or actually, Lamia. Which are essentially Naga, I believe. 
Yeah, I got please. I don't actually know what the difference is. Uh, yeah, I don't either. In EQ, they called them Naga, Naiads, and Lamia, and used them interchangeably, so... Sacred Springs. Do not attack the lion. And when Good King Emmerich said that Holland's Watch was an impressive town, he was not lying. It is far more impressive than Sentinel. Why is this not their capital? Not in red guard hands right now, but still. That would seem to be enough explanation for me. Yeah, I know, no but like. Helped Count Ravenwatch explore the Lucrata. We lie about like whipped dogs. Ufa drags his feet. The Imperials hold our city. I warn most against. Oh hey, the Imperials hold the city. There you go. That's the good reason why. Let's see if I can fix that. <laughs> For an Imperial, I'm killing a lot of Imperials. Oh look, a disguise, how cute. <laughs> Someday you may want to use one of those, maybe. No, no. There's been one or two cases where I absolutely had to to complete a quest, and that's it. A new face. What's your business? We don't see a lot of travelers these days. Hmm. You want to speak to Ufa then? And don't think you can try any. I don't think we've met, and I don't think we need to. And I hear the Imperials have spies everywhere, so why would I admit to being someone they want to kill? That said, I know one thing Imperial spies wouldn't do. Arm their en- Across the way is a guarded warehouse. If someone took weapons from there, it'd be a blow against the Seventh Legion. And I hear the stable hand knows the- I feel like I'm the least subtle resistance fighter ever. I don't know, you have to compete with, you know, me. <laughs> yeah, neither of us really do the subtle thing very well. I feel like it's really mean that they put openable cabinets that you can't get to without jumping. Definitely do not miss from Elder Scrolls, like the 
single player games is the fact that you attack a guard and the entire damn town comes running. <laughs> yeah. And then they don't forget. Ever. We're saving that for, uh... The justice system. you pay them off and they would forget. Yeah, yeah. But... It was just... Oblivion was less nice about it. Yeah. It was just silly, like... They'd, you'd, you'd teleport into town, and they'd come running from out of nowhere. Stop right there, criminal scum. I don't know. Skyrim was way less bad about it. Yeah, but it was harder to get them to... It was harder to pay them off. Like... Simply because funds were less uh, free flowing. Well, no, like they would just attack first. They wouldn't stop you and ask for their bribe, the way that they did in Oblivion. Like they'd just start wrecking you. Yeah. Zero questions asked. I find if you kill someone in Skyrim, then yeah, they're just gonna try to assault you. Oh yeah, that's what I would do. Like I mean, come on. I was not big into thievery. I was big into killing people. I feel like you are the worst Dark Brotherhood member ever. All of them died? <laughs> I was the worst Thieves Guild member. Dark Brotherhood doesn't care. Like, so long as the people die... It is perfectly okay to just walk up to someone and go, Alright, we're done. Had like a Nord Barbarian as a Dark Brotherhood member with a big two-handed weapon. Like, yeah, he's not subtle at all. The Dark Brotherhood in Skyrim was not exactly, yeah. It was far more sneaky. Like, I can remember having Dark Brotherhood quests in Oblivion that you did have to sneak in and, like, stalk your prey and... What do you want? Can't you see I'm doing my work? Why would I want those weapons? Is that so? I name no names. Let's see. Pass the weapons out without the Imperials noticing. I feel like this is not a thing I will ever possibly do. So are you aware? Am I of aware? The old no. Oh, that you can use the numbers on your keyboard for dialogue options? No, but I figure that's an option. Like, I mean, that just made sense. I don't really want to get in the habit of just 11111. <laughs> like some other games we know. I thought you were going to say some players we know. Oh. No, I was thinking about Final Fantasy XIV lo trying to log in. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, wait, what? Oh, zero, 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 zero. What do you want with this old woman? Okay. There's got to be supporters here somewhere. Got some weapons for you. 
Come out, come out, wherever you are. There we go. This old lady has an arrow overhead. What do you want from me? I have nothing. Red fur, you say? I will guard this with my life. These old eyes see you. Come, come. Oh, he's running to meet me. Dude, what? Why are you running away? Stop! Stop! Stop running away! You did not see me, did you? No one sees the poor, the sick, one of the destitute. Unimportant. But he... Take the beggar's message. Ah, I was not expecting you. How did you... Never mind. What news have you? One of our allies passed with a peculiar bag from the stables. It's good to know you were the one to supply it. Well, then, I think it's best if we go... What? How do you know this? The wind is truly at our backs. I've misjudged you. My apologies. We've been watching and waiting ever since the Seventh Legion took our city. Now's the time to act. If you'll forgive my initial rudeness, I need... Let me share what we know. The Seventh Legion took the town under cover overnight. Some say a traitor opened the gates to their army. It's the only explanation, but we don't know who the traitor is. We have not what, but whom. I've set up a meeting with someone who I'll return to the alchemist shop. Yes, I will wait for you there. Did Yara? Oh, yeah, I kind of mentioned this, but. It's more of a feeling. Super Time Force comes out in two weeks. Better if you cool. see it with have you played Bro Force yet? <laughs> I have not. It is pretty damn cool. To continue our conversation in private. I need to play more of it. The Imperials may know your face by now. Follow Kisma with a disguise, to her home. The soldiers won't give you a second glance. I don't want to wear a disguise. They can. <laughs> With a disguise, the Imperials won't stop you. I don't care. I want to kill them. You don't even know. You're like the worst Imperial. Look, I may be Imperial by birth, but you know I was raised in Daggerfall, so. By wolves. <laughs> bears. I was and raised by bears. bears. I'll just sneak past. That'll make her happier, right? Pay no attention to the giant golden man. Online on Steam. 205,992. Yep, that looks like it's down to me. See, that person feels that sneaking is a horrible idea, too. Either that or you're giving them bad ideas. Thank you for your discretion. I'm rather concerned about what's going on. Thank you for the discretion. Stand, but it's not a good did you idea not follow me? Like, public. did you not see how many you Imperials see, I killed on the way husband. over? No. You misunderstand. Clearly not. My husband is Captain Dakir at Nemer of the City Guard. I think he betrayed us. I couldn't bear to ask him. To see the hurt in his eyes and the shame that must surely be there. But he's keeping something from me. Soon after the Imperials came, our daughter disappeared. And my husband speaks with the Imperials.
Do you like character action games? like Dark Souls but don't like dying quite as much. Bound by Flame is out in a week. Break time.
I love my golden bunny shield. Imperial City Stew. Are you back online or am I just I'm not back functioning? online. All it right. takes Remember there's like a significant delay in Yeah, I just did didn't realize you were gone until I looked over and it was yeah, in the break screen. Yeah, I just threw that up cuz uh wife just got home. So What are you doing in my home? Did Quatrius send you? Oh, Kisma. I wish I didn't have to keep such secrets from you. By Mara's heart, I don't know who betrayed us, but it was not me. I am little more than an Imperial Kappa, our daughter. Hello. The Imperials hey, Shana. and hold her as a hostage. Hello. How are you? I'm tired. Sound it. I know that feel, bro. Do you have to work tomorrow? Nope. Yay! I've seen the girl. It's not too late. Lots of yay. I have no idea what you do these days. Like last I knew the you were despairs. the Imperial not Toys R Us. But where? I still am. I have gone through some promotions since then. Uh, I am a key carrying supervisor, which means I'm. You have the power. I have some power. You open and close the store? Yes, I am not. Let's see, there's, there's a store manager, then two assistant managers, and I'm right below the assistant managers, and then there's everybody else. So basically, when we're looking for something from Toys R Us, we can hit you up with. The... Like ponies? I will. I love you guys. I'll be happy to help you as best that I can. <laughs> <laughs> there's only so much I can do, though. I just want to see my mother and father. I'm always yeah. happy to help people who want to be helped. Honestly, we have like a, we have a Toys R Us out in the middle of nowhere here. Fine, fine. And a lot of times it has stuff that no one else has in stock. Like, I'm I'm surprised it's still in, a, in business. Because it's in an area of town where there used to be a mall, and then the mall closed and turned into like a... a like a business Ozzie, park type the thing, Come. and it is literally the only store out there now. And it serves the, you know, the ghetto, <laughs> but it's, it, it stays in business because I think people that know about it know they can go out there and find stuff. As long as they're profitable, they'll stay open. I'm kind of a Lego junkie, so there may be the occasional request. I love Legos. They're expensive, but I love Legos. I have a lot of Legos. Like, I tend to be one of those people that, like, shops the clearance and close out, and... And, yeah, it's $50 worth of Legos, but it used to be $80 worth of Legos. Yeah. I don't know, the, the Lego set that I'm waiting for it to go on clearance, and unfortunately it'll be a while, is the uh, the Jedi Consular sh ship from SWOTOR. Yes. I have the Fury, the, the Sith ship. Mm-hmm. But I think, like, the only place that I have ever seen the Jedi ship is at Toys R Us. I don't know if it's a, actually an exclusive or if it was just rare. Well, outside of Lego itself, Toys R Us is the largest retailer for Legos, so we do get a lot of stuff that other stores don't. Um, as far as those particular sets go, we do still get them in, but they've been out for quite a while now. Uh, like, um, all of our stores have them in stock still. Yeah, yeah, I think we have those two right now. Um, uh, Star Wars is one of the one of those sets that doesn't really go to clearance or uh, <laughs> nearly as quickly because because it's Star Wars and Lego, so they don't have to. 
Well, Toys R Us in general seems to keep stuff off the clearance bin for a lot longer. Like, there'll be stuff stock from three years ago still out. Yeah, yeah. The best thing to do is just to keep an eye out for the sales. Yep. Which they, they don't happen often enough, but usually when, when there's a Lego sale, it's usually pretty good. I seem to have missed um, the other Jedi set that had uh, God, what's her name? The the female Jedi leader. I know who you mean. I don't yeah, know Yeah, Satil Shan. Yeah, like I missed when those went on clearance because like everybody had them, then all of a sudden they didn't have them anymore. those but I did manage to pick up the fury for like 50 bucks and I think that was like 100 something originally yeah that's okay. not bad hey Bill hey what if when you get a minute um could you hop in a landmark and give me some feedback on something oh sure hang on let me no big rush let me just close this off here and 